parents, welcome to a bright school year. I'm very happy to have your children again this year. In order to contact me, you can reach me by email, and my office hours are Monday through Friday from 7 to 7.30, and I'm available to Zoom or phone conference. You can also follow me on Twitter at Cecile Renner at SJE2A. Now here are our classroom expectations. Having all homework completed, having all necessary classroom supplies, and being alert and ready to engage in instruction. The boys and girls have work to do as soon as they walk in the classroom. Students are expected to listen carefully, follow directions, work quietly, respect others, and work and play safely. Now in our classroom, we have a behavior and homework chart that tracks that. If they are missing homework or there's a misbehavior, we would put that on our chart. If they get three of them, then they would miss some recess time. So far, we've been doing really good and we haven't had any problems and I'm certainly not expecting any. We have a great group of boys and girls this year. Now, let's talk about Google Classroom. Now, we will be using Google Classroom in our classroom. I have two topics in Google Classroom. I have in-class assignments where we will be doing things in the classroom, and then I have homework. I will let the boys and girls know if there is homework. It'll be written in their planner. So right now, you should not be doing anything in Google Classroom. The boys and girls who are who are um, remote learning or e-learning, all their assignments are in Google Classroom and so they know what they should be doing. But the in-class boys and girls right now, they don't have any, but they will soon. And so they will have two categories of assignments. They'll have in-class assignments that we'll be doing here in the classroom, and then they'll have homework assignments and they will be in those two topics. So you'll be able to tell the difference between what assignments they'll be doing, and it'll be written in their planner. Now, social distancing. We do have social distancing in our classroom. The desk arrangements, they're sitting um, rather far apart from each other. When we're in the hallway, we have, um, they're lined up so that they are far apart from each other, and we do not do any group work, so you need not worry on any of those points. Reading. I teach reading for all of third grade. We take two weeks per story so we can really get into the skills. Um, the story comprehension and skill assessment is, is on the second week. Those tests, as you may have noticed, can be very difficult, so that's why we're going to take two weeks so we can really practice the skills. That's what we do. We spend most of the two weeks practicing each of the skills. That includes we practice the grammar for two weeks, we practice the, the, the main skills for two weeks, so we are trying to be as prepared as we can on week two to take the test. Now we will be taking shorter maybe um, quizzes on the story before the two weeks is up. Language arts, that would be spelling, we have a weekly spelling list. So each week we'll have its own spelling list and we will be taking those tests on Fridays. Science. Now science, we have, we'll have experiments in the classroom when the children can do an experiment by themselves because we can't work in groups. Some experiments they may be bringing home to do with you as a family because not everything we'll be able to, we can't do everything here in school with the experiments. So you'll get to do some family fun with some fun science experiments with your child. Now Mrs. Protega is teaching math, religion, and social studies. So please make sure with math that you're practicing your math facts. I sent home sign up forms for extra math you have to sign up for extra math. That's where they practice their math facts. Religion, you have the BCTs. I know they have BCT quizzes, so please practice those BCT quizzes. Specials, 
we are on a rotating schedule for the specials, an SJE um, rotation. S is computers, J is gym, E is music. Spanish will be in the schedule, I think, in October. Library we have on Wednesdays. The children are in the room for library. They are in the room for music and they are in the classroom for computer. The only time that they are not in the classroom for a special is PE. Report cards and grading. Grades are weighted in third grade. So classwork counts for 20%, homework for 10%, tests for 30%, and quizzes 40%. And don't forget, they need to work on their AR goals. Now, sometimes some of the stories in our book will be an AR quiz, and I will take that for a grade. Extra math, don't forget to sign up for that. Don't forget to study your BCTs. And please keep to the uniform policy. Keep to it on nut days and school spirit days. We will be doing scholastic book orders. I only accept online book orders, online only. We'll be doing, I'm sure we'll, we'll be doing Book It, Six Flags, Deep River Reading Programs. Those are all optional programs. Please send a sweatshirt or a sweater with your student because it can get chilly in the classroom and it's better to have it than not to have it. It can get very chilly in here. And then if you're sending money to school for something, please send it in an envelope and with the purpose because sometimes the boys and girls are unsure of why they have money. And that's all. If you have any questions, you can let me know and I want you to know how happy I am that I am here with your students and if I can be of any help to you or your student or if you have questions, please let me know. It was great talking to you.